absolutely look like an egg today, but it's too hot here in the UK. I'm a winter person. I don't like the summer. The only I like the summer because you can like go out and have days out. But honestly, I think I'd rather have a day out in the winter. Yesterday, I was kind of like, oh, I'm gonna like do a really nice hairstyle, put my extensions in. No, it's too warm. It's Monday and I thought I would do a little weekly vlog for you. No, we're not get, I'm not doing anything massively exciting. Probably not gonna film every single day because some days I'll just be doing college work. But today, me and my sister are going in to our local town center. And then from the town center, we're going into another town center but that's a bit further away from us just because they've got some different shops and stuff there. So, but to get there, we have to get a bus into our normal town center and then go from there. So I think all together, it takes about an hour to get there because my sister is on the hunt for some trousers. She's got a um, party to go to and she's got the top. She just needs some trousers and we can't find any in our local town that um, she likes. So we thought we'll try the town next from us catching the 11 bus so i don't know if it's going to be like an all day thing or how long we're going to be out there uh, out but i don't know hi ozzy good morning oh hi margami is pips in your place hey margami did you get your breakfast Yes, we shall get your breakfast. I've been trying these things off TikTok for the past, I don't know, couple of weeks. And it's the mango greens. If you're on TikTok, you've probably seen them because they're literally everywhere. And obviously everyone on there that's promoting them says they taste really nice. Um, they don't taste the best. They taste really like, it doesn't like, it's really grainy and you can taste all the grains and stuff in it. And it's got a really, like, not great aftertaste. Considering all the stuff's in it, I didn't expect it to taste that nice. But for the people saying that it just tastes like mango squash, I mean, to them it might. To me, absolutely not. So I guess everyone's different, but it's not as nice and doesn't, like, work as well as everyone says it does but nothing ever does if people promote things do they really you're supposed to do it with 250 mils i have no idea what 250 mils is because i've started i used to do like a full glass um, and then i realized Ugh, this is like disgusting so now i just put in like this much so i can just quickly like down it because i hate it but i'm not gonna waste waste it so i'm gonna carry on drinking it there we go i'm trying to decide whether i want to wear a necklace i'm gonna take my glasses with me probably not put them on just yet because they make my like they make me really like sweaty here um yeah let's put this one on sort my handbag out to make sure i've got what i need um so i have like every like i was about to be like let's do do you remember the what's in my handbag videos oh my god i used to love those um i probably take a different bag out literally near on every time i go out it's rather a tote bag this bag my backpack um my other little bag like i've got a, f a quite a fair few bags that I take so I don't stick to one but at the moment I'm using this one this is just an old one from River Island normal go-to things I keep in my handbag should we do a what's in my bag let's do a little like brief what's in my bag so in it I keep the bag has like it's like here here a little zip here and then some few little pockets so I take this literally everywhere I go just some hand sanitizer and then I started taking this, even if I haven't got my hair slipped back, I always take it just if some flyaways come down and it's the, just the got to be gel like thing, like fly, like stick thingy. I don't know the specific name for it. I'm like kind of haven't got that much time and now I'm just chatting. Um, and then I keep Ooh, lip balm this is just strawberry lip balm i've just realized it's strawberry lip balm but it doesn't taste like, like taste like strawberry it doesn't smell like strawberry i literally just got it from poundland 
glasses cleaner cloth thing and then right I don't know I found one of these the other day I need to take this hair out sorry sorry about the hair on it but I found one the other day in the shop and I used to have one of these when I was a kid and it's like a little collapsible hairbrush and then you pull it out like this push that out and then you've got a little hairbrush if you want to like brush your hair and then also a little mirror um because I used to take a hairbrush with me all the time but this just takes up so much less room and I think it was only 99p I've got some sour lollipops and this is because I have anxiety but like having something sour helps take your mind off it um because you're focusing on the sourness instead of everything else so I always carry something sour with, with me in my handbag then I've got my little like purse wallet thing I have got a proper purse but I don't really use it very much because I don't need to like I don't carry money with me um, and that's just got my bus pass my card my library card I think all my other types of cards are in my actual purse. Oh no, they're in here. What have I got? I've got my Nectar card, which is the Sainsbury's like card. Some, oh my God, this is when I went to see Luke Hemmings concert, the train ticket. And oh, I've got a McDonald's Monopoly thing. That's from a long time ago. I've got this little SpongeBob, Larry, is it Larry the Lobster card? That's from Holiday. I got it from like a game machine thing. And then, oh, and then I've got my organ donor card. I didn't realise they were in there. Mum actually bought me this from Primark. It's just like, I think it was like £2 or something. And it just takes up so much less room. Um, and then in here, oh yeah. <laughs> here I've got, oh, my tickets for when I went on holiday. And we're going again at the end of the year, I think. So I've saved it to like add them together. For a $1 bill which is really random but um Jacob my boyfriend goes away a lot and he stays he's in America a lot um for work so and he just had a one dollar bill and then I was like and then he gave it to me so I just keep that in my wallet now just I guess it reminds me of him keys spray just because you never know when you need a bit of a spray and then a roll on deodorant because once again you never know when you're going to need it. Oh, another train ticket receipt. And then, <laughs> oh God, just some every, like, tissues. You don't know when you're going to need tissues, do you? I am that person that will carry so many things in their bag. So nine times out of ten, if somebody needs something, I'm like, I've got it. Um, my lanyard. Paracetamol. Gaviscon. Travel sickness tablets my anxiety tablets yeah that's everything is that yep that is everything that's in my handbag that's actually a lot less than normal so yeah that was a little what's in my bag not that exciting but you never know someone might be interested and then of course a bottle of water i always take a bottle of water i might take my big one today because um you've got to keep hydrated in the heat these are the last few things that I'm adding to my bag. So I'm going to take, I think I'm going to eat that now, but this is just a brunch bar. And I'm going to take a Fibre One lemon bar in case I get hungry. Headphones, um, well, earphones. I normally take my actual headphones, but I don't, they're not going to fit in there today with my camera and everything. Just my glasses and then a bottle of water, but more than likely going to have to carry that, which is fine. We're here now, we've just got off the second bus and we're trying to, we actually have no idea, the only shop we're looking for is a Primark um, and Cher's got Google Maps out, well I've got Google Maps out but Cher's being the, yeah, Cher's trying to find out where, Google Maps confuses me though honestly sometimes. It just goes where you don't want it to go. Exactly, it does, so, I mean it says it's five minutes away so should be pretty it's simple. It's very straightforward. No, it I mean like, like Margate High Street. I mean like when you're walking up that way, it doesn't look like there's going to be a high street just around the corner. It this, this looks like the Margate High it Street. It does. Oh my God. I like that little mirror. Oh my God, I've seen these. You put them in the freezer oh. and then put them on your. It's like depuffs them or something like that. Any different type of nails? No. 
What is this? Oh, a hair mask. They have quite a lot of different stuff in it, to be fair. Because obviously ours is... Trousers. Trousers, okay. Oh, what is this? Sorry, I've got distracted. Oh, wow. Chocolate brow wax. Oh, I like that. I like that one. What are these here? They're only too quick. I don't know what this is. It doesn't actually say. That, I love that little set. Oh, look, Cher, they do loads of smart trousers in here. Oh, should I get some pink ones? Get some pink ones, why not? Stand out. They do a lot more in here. We're back, I don't know really if you can see me, but we're back home now and shopping was kind of successful, but also not successful. Mm. Because we did end up getting a few things, but we got them, so like going into the second town, there was like a lot of things, but like also not at the same time. They had a lot of like kids clothes and um, like just beauty things and like face things but clothes wise they didn't have like an insane amount so and she was looking for some cargoes and she couldn't find any so that was a foul so the only we only got one thing and mm -hmm. i got oh from there yeah yeah so i got like a little like brow thing i'll show you everything i got later it was longer to get there than we were actually there i think but then we went back to our town um and we ended up getting a few things. Cher got a few little like pajama tops. Did you get two? Yeah. Then I won't call them pajama tops. Well, they but are. You can they're, wear them. they're pajamas. They're in the pajama section. But I would wear them. Um, what colours did you get? Black and mm -mm. white. White and and like um, a khaki, khaki. colour. And then I just got a black one. I got the black pajama set. So it's like a black vest top and then some shorts, just because it's hot here at the moment and going to sleep is like. It's really stuffy. Um, and then I just got a t-shirt. Right, we're trying to get back into like going on walks because we used to go on walks all the time, but then we sort of stopped. So hopefully we can persuade ourselves to go for a walk later on, just a little one. <laughs> Whether it will happen, I don't know. We have persuaded ourselves to go on a walk. My hair, I just look so horrible. Um, we've persuaded ourselves to go on a walk and mum's actually gonna come so we're gonna go on a little walk but while mum's just been sorted I thought I'd quickly show you what I got or showed you when I was looking at it I think you I had you there um it's this chocolate brow wax now I have no idea what it's gonna be like it's from revolution um and it was normally four pounds it was down to two pounds so I thought I'd try it and I can see that it comes with a little spoolie and this pyjama set, so I got the top in a medium, and it's just like this little black, like, vest top, but bra type thing. Um, and it actually has like, it's got this, but then it also has like, okay. another like, layer. Like, kind of like a little like, sports bra type thing underneath. And that was £3.50. Because and they the had underlayer actually is tight. Yeah. They had loads, of, they've got like loads of different colours. And then I got the shorts in a small and they were 3 50 as well. And I just got black. But they have like this really nice purple colour, but they didn't have shorts. So I might keep an eye out. And if they've got any shorts in, then I might grab that. But I think they're good for 3 50 Me and mum are doing the race for life, the 10k race for life um, this month. It's actually in it's Monday and the rate uh, and it is next Sunday. So just under two weeks and I am just looking because I'm going to try and find my mum some new trainers. We were supposed to do it a while ago but it just completely slipped our mind because obviously she's got to break them in but within a week, wearing them every day for a week hopefully, fingers crossed, two weeks sorry, two weeks should hopefully be okay. But I'm just trying to find some trainers for her. I have, I think I got mine a long time ago. I just have like, I don't know, they're just feeling trainers, but they're like, I think they're like running trainers. Um, so I'm gonna see if they have any similar. 
my dinner's just cooking and I'm having considering it's like summer it's a bit of a weird meal I guess but I'm having mash veg with gravy and I normally have sausages but I don't have any so I'm having fish fingers <laughs> so we're on the men section I don't want to be on the men section this is really good lemonade mm. I'll tell you what I am so tempted to buy some crocs because I just, I'm like not a fan of them. Like I don't think they, like they're not the best looking shoe, are they? They're not like, you know, great, but just for convenience. And I think they're great, like for the beach and stuff like that. They're just very convenient. Just not the best looking, but I could probably get past that. They're really nice. I like those. Um, but yeah, I am considering the crocs i'm not sure yet if i find some trainers though i will let you know what ones i found hmm guys i have abs <laughs> i've been the worst weekly vlogger ever yeah first part of this vlog monday do you know what today is friday now i did say that i'm not gonna film the whole week where's my hair oh it's there I did say I won't be filming the whole week because I'll be doing a lot of college work and stuff. Um, and that is what I've been doing. So it was nothing really interesting. And then yesterday I went to my sister's because I had to stay over and look after my niece and take her to school. So I did that this morning. Uh, this morning. And then I've just got home and it is 11.37. Well, I got home about an hour ago. And me and my mum and my sister are going to the cinema today. We're going to watch Bike Riders or The Bike Riders. Something like that. I don't know. I think it's The. Uh, uh, I don't know. Let me have a look actually quick. Or it could just be Bike Riders. But it is The Bike Riders. Um, so that is what we're going to do. I think we're going to go into town for about an hour before. Um, but I thought I would or should pick my camera up and just vlog a few little clips over the next few days so I can kind of call it a weekly vlog because because otherwise like I've only vlogged one day and it's not really that much so yeah I'm just gonna jump in the shower hence this um it's cooled down so much <laughs> oh my god my hair it's cooled down a lot since Monday um, we were in 27 degrees and now it is, uh, I think like 20, 22 or something like that. But it's nice and cloudy. So yeah, that is the plan for today. But I will bring you along. I mean, I'm in the cinema, nothing I can massively film, but we'll see what we get up to, I guess. And what does one's taste We're now in is the simple. cinema. We went I to the shop and I just bought like a little so you do know t-shirt. Um, yes, and again. the adverts are just on, so I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me. Real taste, um, taste but I'll let you know what we taste. think of it's the film after. Taste. We've all come, like, all of us. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see it. I don't really know too much what it's about, so this will be very interesting. What do you get when you cross a dinosaur pig? A dinosaur with a pig. I don't know. Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> that actually is quite funny to be honest. I know. Hi gorgeous girl. Hey gorgeous. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Margo, you're not allowed on there. Hey Margo. No. Oh, wow. Cute. Um, I've currently just woken up and just come down the stairs and it's Saturday because yesterday was a bit of like, uh, oh Tilly, um, after the film I just didn't feel great, I just felt really anxious and I had like, I was just trying to keep like a panic attack at bay. I just had a very overwhelming day to be honest. Um, I don't really like traveling or anything on my own. And then I came back from my sister's on my own because obviously 
I didn't have any other choice. <laughs> um, and then went straight into town and went to the cinema and things like that. And it was just a little bit overwhelming. So, yeah. Oh, Margot. Um, so, yeah. I <laughs> didn't end up vlogging anything and I'm so sorry. Um, because I know that this was supposed to be a weekly vlog. And it hasn't ended up like that. Are you right there, missus? Um, so, and then today, what? Well, today I am just sort of at home actually. It's been, it's gonna be a really chill weekend. I think Cher's going to a party, so me and mum are gonna like sit down and watch a movie. I think we're gonna make nachos, which will be nice. Um, uh, no, not on the sofa. Um, so yeah, so, Today, I am going to pick up the camera and bring you guys along with me. I am so sorry. Um, I hope it's still an enjoyable vlog. But yeah, so it's going to be a little homely vlog today. Uh, a homely day today. And to be honest, tomorrow as well. Because tomorrow I need to just give my room a bit of a tidy tan. Just get myself together a little bit. Um, Jacob's actually home. He has been... Um, in Australia actually for work currently for the past month so I'm very excited to see him he's coming over he's uh landing on tomorrow actually and he's currently like flying um and yeah then he lands tomorrow morning and I'm gonna see him on Monday which is exciting um and we're going to watch A Quiet Place actually that's not a great angle is it we're going to watch A Quiet Place on Wednesday, A Quiet Place Day 1, and then we're going to go bowling after, so that will be fun. I'm just hoping I don't, like, I've just felt so nervous lately, and I don't know why. Like, because I haven't done anything extreme. Like, when we went to, when we went out on Monday, which I filmed, inside I was, like, panicking. Like, I had to really push myself. And then, obviously, the... The rest of the days, I've sort of just been at home, just doing college, apart from yesterday. But I just still feel nervous. I hate it when you get anxious and it's like, why? What is that noise? Uh, like, there's no reason to be. Um, the mind is a funny thing. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go take my greens, the little green powder that I showed you, which is just absolutely disgusting. Although, I don't even know if it makes a difference, honestly. I don't know if you just, like, convince yourself it makes a difference. But I'm nearly through it. Um, but I don't think I'd get it yet. Oh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Because it makes you feel like at least you're, like, taking them. But I don't know. The taste isn't great. I'll see how I feel after the end. <laughs> nose thing like you can't taste things as much when you hold your nose the first time I heard that and I've just remembered it ever since was in um the sweet life of Zach and Cody on Disney Channel it's crazy how that works isn't it mm. and there was just an episode where like the mum had to like drink something or whatnot for the advert and she didn't like it so like she held her nose and drank it or something oh this top's very creased Will they drop out during the day? Hopefully. Considering we're just indoors, I can might just put it up in a bun. Doesn't really matter what it looks like, does it? I have started to love, I use this all the time. This is the um, Eco Style Olive Oil Styling Gel. And I love it. I actually, they had like the big tub and then they had this little one. And obviously I hadn't used it before and I didn't want to spend seven pounds on a big tub and not like it. Now I kind of regret not getting the bigger one because I do really like it. And I use it near on every day actually. Um, it says max hold. I will say it doesn't like massively hold your hair in place. It does, but it doesn't like it. It will eventually just sort of loosen um 
compared to other things I've tried, but I love this because I have, um, I have this, which is the um, Lullabelle Sleek Style and Set Mousse. But, and this is good, this does hold it in place, but it just makes your hair rock solid. Whereas this doesn't, um, so, and it, this is a lot kinder to your hair than this. So this, if I like know it's gonna be, I guess, massively windy or whatnot, or I'm gonna be out literally the whole day, maybe I'd use this, but this is my, go to. But that is lovely outside today. It's nice because it's not like really hot or humid, but it's, um, sorry guys, but it's like bright and sunny. Oh my God, I miss him so much. Oh, can you see like the sky? Looks nice. I'm also thinking of doing my nails today. These are actually my real nails. They're growing pretty well, but they're all sort of chipped. And everything so I think I'm gonna paint them the same color um, I think I'm just gonna sort of shape them a bit more and paint them again I'd rather do that today or tomorrow we'll see I also need to edit some of this vlog today actually I just remembered a bit wonky this reminds me do you know what having these little like just random like vlogs even though I'm not doing much really reminds me of vlogmas because I used to like Obviously you vlog every day, so not every day is exciting and we just sit in my room and talk sometimes. Um, this was last week, I think, and I went to H&M just to pick up a necklace. Let me show you. Picked up this necklace um, because I ordered it online, so I went into H&M to collect it. Just this little beaded necklace. Obviously not to everyone's taste, but I just think it's cute and my niece loves it when she sees it she like she's so fixated on it and she'll just sit and like look at all the things on there and I saw there was so much stuff on sale they're having a really big sale at the moment at H&M and I where you have to collect parcels from is the downstairs bit next to the children's bit and I got looking and I got my niece they're actually for um her birthday is on the 1st of December and then there's Christmas, so I'm not sure if they're for Christmas or her birthday yet. I think probably her birthday. So I am very um, early on that. I have actually got some people their Christmas presents and stuff because I like to be in advance of myself. Um, and I picked up these for her, these little socks. And they're normally eight pounds, but they're only, they're only four pounds. And they're just these little like, socks and they've got some animals on and she's obsessed with her animals oh god i can't even hold them um and you've got like the days of the week so you've got monday with some little bears and then you've got tuesday with some rabbits wednesday with tiger and then thursday with some pandas Fridays with a cat, which are gonna be our favorite. And then Saturday with some dogs, and then Sunday with some foxes. I just thought these were really cute, and for four pounds for seven pairs from H&M, that's pretty decent. And then, this is what I love. I got her some Pokemon trainers. Um, and these are normally 14 99 but I got them for eight pounds. Look at these. I think they're so cute um and then they've got like yellow yellow soles i just think they're so fun like she's not like she knows of um pokemon um so they're not like massive pokemon in your face but they're like you know slightly i just think they're lovely i love them i just really like the color honestly that was the main thing for me um so yeah so I've also bought her some like things for her birthday in um, January. Um, just some like little Christmas teddy things. Um, oh, and then I forgot, I keep forgetting I had this. I just got some perfume from, just from Primark and I haven't actually smelled it. I mean, obviously it's not gonna last great because it's, it's just from Primark, but it's normally six pounds 
and it went down to three pounds and i kept seeing it in there every time i'd go in and i was like oh i should try it and then never got around to getting it and then i just thought why not try it and it, so it comes in this little blue bottle it's a little smell oh i quite like that what does that smell like um it smells really familiar to something i think it smells like a washing detergent that I've smelt before. I quite like that. That's nice. And for £3, like, you're going to have to top it up during the day. But, decent, actually. Not bad at all. That is not even what I wanted to show you because I was on about... Oh, I need to be on my knees. The reason I... <laughs> I went from doing, like, on about my nails to then showing you all of that, but... I did have a reason it was because I was going to show you in like this little beauty shop in our town they did this cuticle oil so I think I'm going to give that a go today um so if I paint my nails tomorrow and do this today and then do this again tomorrow um to sun kiss nails cuticle oil um to revive dry or damaged nails and cuticles and like I get my hands get really dry anyway. I'm forever putting on um, sun cream, uh, sun cream, moisturizer. So this will come in handy. Oh my god! Also, the movie. I didn't even update you on the movie. Loved it. Honestly, I was so like sometimes with the cinema, it gets to a point where I'm like, how long of this film is left? Because sometimes they can be really long. It went so fast. It was a two-hour movie, and oh my god, I was so involved. Like I. It was one of their movies where you get sucked in and you literally don't even like think about anything else. You're just so focused on the movie. I thought it was so good. I definitely recommend it if that type of film is your type of film. Um, it's sort of based on just one story. There's not loads of characters. There's not loads of stuff going on. It's just, it's, I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't want to say too much about it in case it gives anything away. Um, but yeah. The bike riders if you watch the trailer and you feel like that's your type of film i definitely recommend going to see it because i really enjoyed it right i'm keep getting distracted i'm gonna wash my extensions now i think we're gonna go out as well we're gonna go for a walk down to my dad's uh, garden well we, it's his like oh great he wasn't buried but he's like where his plaque and everything is at the church and um, but we call it his garden so i think we're gonna go down there today which will be nice to have a little walk and um yeah, put some flowers down there, that'll be nice. We're on our way to Dad's garden and we've we've known it's been here for ages but we've never looked at it. Like at our local park, they've actually built a new bit in there and then they've built the little like, you know, gym type things and we're all like trying on it. It's quite tricky, isn't it? Oh. And then chairs on this one. It's just fun. That one's really, yeah, I like that one. These two. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's just like, you just go like this. Oh yeah, because that's quite stiff. Like, well not stiff, but like, heavy-ish. And they've got this, which I think, yeah, the cross trainer. Then the little bike. This, which you could do like sit-ups on and stuff. And then yeah, the leg press. They have all these little like gym type things at loads of parks nowadays, but I never actually see anybody in there. There's going on the cross trainer. When I did this in the gym in secondary school, I couldn't stop. Well, it's quite stiff. It's a bit rusty. There you go. Off you pop. Oh. Is it quite difficult? I don't like it. <laughs> Should I have a go? Yeah, go on then. I don't like it at all. Go on, girl. I like that. It's cobweb, so you know nobody's been using them. Get a back home now i ended up changing um before we left because it's so much warmer than you originally think like it was really warm out there then mum and Cher have now just popped out because they're going down to the shops and i stayed home because i didn't want to leave because the cats have been outside and i didn't want to leave them on their own outside for a while so i'm just gonna um put some washing out on the line and put some it was put some of it on the toes horse um what do you guys call this, by the way? 
this thing where you hang clothes on because I call it, which everyone I know calls it a clothes horse, but then some, some people are like, what? What is that? Like a clothes horse um, or like a clothes rack, I guess people call it. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do that now. It's been a really nice chill day, actually. Like, it's just been a nice homely day and then going for a walk, going to dad's garden um, and then it'll be a nice evening. I've got to change my sheet. I'm gonna have a hair wash, I'm gonna tan um, and then get cozy on the sofa. The thing is it's quite warm but I will still use a blanket like I am still bringing a blanket down and I'm getting cozy on that sofa this evening to have a movie night to eat some nachos. Lovely. Um, but yeah I'm gonna go and put the washing out also something that i'm really nervous about actually and i like i don't know if this will be good to talk to you about because some of you might have experienced it i don't i'm freaking out so basically i have to have a mri scan and um i have known about it for about i don't know four weeks or so so about a month and i was put on the waiting li waiting list to have the scan and I got um, my date yesterday for it and it's for the 16th, oh, my bird really hurts, I scratched that, it's for the 16th of July which is in like three weeks or so and when they first initially told me about that I would need an MRI scan they was like how do you feel about it and I was like <gasps> terrified like Obviously, I'm not going to keep on about it, but I have anxiety and I suffer really bad with panic attacks and I don't like going to any appointments and stuff anyway. And then having to have an MRI scan and being in there and being enclosed is just going to make me panic. The thought of it makes me feel sick. Um, and I don't know, I guess I'm just like, if any of you have any of you ever had to have an MRI scan and how did it go? How did you find it? Because I'm kind of freaking out about it, about having the actual scan, but then also going somewhere I've never been before, having something done I've never had before and just the whole unknown of the situation and I keep trying to read up about what happens and stuff and I'm just, I'm really scared. Um, and I'm not gonna obviously cancel it because I'm in a position where I'm so lucky to have free healthcare and be offered an MRI scan within the span of like a month. Like that's, I'm absolutely privileged to be able to have that and I know that. So no matter how I'm feeling, when it comes to things like that with appointments and things, I'm never gonna turn it down because it's such a privilege to be able to have that and have it for free. But there has been so many occasions on appointments where I've not been able to go in on my own or it's caused a whole week of just like pure like overwhelmingness and worry and it's just and all the appointments end up being okay like they're fine but obviously your brain makes it feel like it's a really big deal but if anybody could if any of you have had an MRI scan or anything like that please let me know how it went or if it was okay because I just need some reassurance because I am very scared. The MRI scan is for nothing like, it's nothing, ma hopefully it's nothing major, but they're, I'm having it for, it's not a major reason I'm having it, they just need to check something. Um, so hopefully it, it doesn't end up being anything like seriously bad, they just wanna have a check. Um, but it's just, I'm so scared, I'm, I'm so scared. So. <laughs> If anybody's had that done just was it okay because I'm freaking out or like how how did it go were the people nice I don't know but yeah I'm really scared so and I just love you guys so much so I feel like I needed to share that and if any of you have any advice or anything for me that would be really helpful um, but yeah anyway I'm not gonna think about that too much because Oh, it's so scary, but let's put the washing out. Let's put the washing out. Hi guys, how are you doing out here? You okay? Oh, I need to change your water. That's got a bit grubby. Oh my god, I'm surprised. This oh no, I was just about to say I'm surprised this doesn't wash away. We had our niece over, my niece over the other day, 
and she was chalking. Um, this bowl, obviously I need to clean it out because it's got a bit... I don't know what they've got in there or it's fallen off. Um, but I got it from B&M and basically you fill it up here, in there, and it fills this whole bit up with water and you put it in the freezer and then you obviously fill then in the morning we fill it up with water and it keeps the water nice and cold it's been really good for this hot weather oh, are you okay there Margamu? you're so cute hope that me putting this here the cats will not knock it over and break you oh my little pippy say hi right now let's do the clothes horse Let's oh, put the washing on the chair. So how are you guys finding these vlogs? Because I feel like I have been vlogging a lot more lately than normal. Um, and I just, I love it. Like, I love it. And I love sitting and edit editing them. I normally sit and edit them. Normally in the evenings when I go to bed, I make a cup of tea and sit in bed and edit them bed and edit them um and i've been watching i sort of went through a phase of not watching as much youtube and now i've started watching it so much more again like again in the evenings if i don't have any editing to do i'll sit and watch youtube like and the vlogs and vlogs are just like my comfort like i love them or like really old school youtube videos like i just love it how are you finding them do you want me to like I mean, I'm going to keep doing them, I'm going to be honest, but I just, if you don't like them, then that's fine. Don't tell me, because we don't need any negativity. It's fine if you don't like them, but you can keep it <laughs> to yourself. Or constructive criticism. What could make them better, you know? Or what, what, would help, what would make them more enjoyable for you? Because at the end of the day, is you watching them? So I want to find like a balance between what I love doing and then also what you guys enjoy, you know. We're a team, you work, we, you know, we can work together without having to be rude or anything. Which you guys are not, you're all lovely, but you never, you know, there are people out there that will just unnecessarily be rude. And there's just enough of that in the world at the moment, honestly. Um, we don't need to add to it, you know, we don't need to. I'm finally making, got round to making some lunch and I'm literally, I'm just going to have a flatbread just and then I'm going to put some cheese and tomato in it and toast it because I mean I, I like mozzarella, mozzarella and tomato is like really good but we don't have any mozzarella. A bit of a, when it comes to food I'm a massive plain Jane. Like, like Cher and Mum will have like all these herbs and or sauces and stuff. Right, just don't do that, otherwise it will, the okay. whole, it will just go, shh, um, and I won't. Like, we'll make burgers and they'll have to separate mine because I won't have any herbs in. Or like, anything we make like that, we don't have any herbs. Uh, I don't have any herbs, so, <laughs> so mine's separate. And my favorite pizza is a cheese pizza. Do you want a bit of tomato? And then let's put a little bit of pepper. That reminds me because I've just seen it in here. If any of you have cheese on toast, if you haven't tried it, we whenever we have cheese on toast, we always have. We always put this on our cheese on toast, and trust me, if you haven't tried it. It's really good. And I don't even like that sort Like, I've never tried it before because I was like, oh, I'm not a fan of it. But I never have it with anything else. Only cheese and toast. Oh, it's just broken. So it's basically a sandwich now. You guys are basically just getting a daily vlog at this point. With every, like, I'm updating you on everything. Because I feel like I really have to make up for the past couple of days that I haven't vlogged anything. But I'm currently watching, I'm going to be watching uh, Holland's Porter Family. I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, I've recently started watching them. I've seen them on TikTok a little bit. And then I've recently started watching them. 
um, and I'm really enjoying their vlogs so I'm gonna watch their new one and I've got my lunch here I've got some grapes with it mm -hmm. grapes taste so much better once you've washed them and let's have a bite it's very hot um, quickly show you the workouts that I've been doing. So I've been doing these for four weeks. This is my fourth week. Um, and it is the Grow With Joe channel. And I've done her videos here and there for a long time, but she has this five day like challenge. Uh, basically it's like the 2010 method. So you do 20 minutes of cardio, 10 minutes of weighted strength training and five minutes of deep core. And I've been doing them, the same five videos. I've been doing them for four weeks and oh my gosh, I really can feel like I can tell a difference and it just makes you feel good. It also gets your steps in, able to get through them slightly easier and being able to lift heavier weights. So that is all the things we want. So obviously, I have all the all three weeks I've been doing them Monday to Friday but on this last week I've um obviously was so busy I just didn't have time to fit a workout in tomorrow, uh, yesterday so I'm doing it today instead in my workout clothes I my workout clothes I always use without a foul like all my workout clothes I'm not even kidding are from here and um, I use the USA Pro brand I love them, like all my pairs of leggings, all my pairs of shorts, um, my jackets are from there, my sports bras are from there, and I just, I love them. I've never had an issue with them. All showered and everything now, I feel so much better. Um, I actually ended up going on like, after my workout, I did like, ended up going on like a little cleaning spree in my room, and like dusting everything down, sorting everything out, sorting a bit of under my bed out, hoovering every, like literally everything. Um, so yeah, so now I've lit a candle up there, so it smells nice when I go up to bed. I've tanned and everything, washed my hair, and now we're going to, me and my mum are going to make some nachos and sit and watch The Strangers, which is a new horror movie. We didn't get a chance to go and see it in cinemas because we were busy, so we're going to see what it's like tonight. I have honestly spent, oh you can kind of see me in the reflection, hello guys. I have spent, honestly, it is currently half five. And I've been editing since about 12. <laughs> so I've been editing all day. Um, but I'm just about to finish editing the vlog, but I realised that I never did an outro. So I do apologise. So I thought I would quickly... I'm filming on my phone, by the way. So sorry. Some clips on here are actually from my phone. So I apologise if the quality is a bit, like, thingy. It's just sometimes I've got my phone on me and it's just easier to grab. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. It's quite a lengthy vlog. So if you've stuck around, thank you so much. It means so much to me. It really does mean so much to me, especially watching a video this long of me. Like, thank you. Like, I wouldn't even do that. I'm getting sick of my voice by editing this whole vlog. <laughs> um, but I hope you all are having a lovely day. Whatever time it is, wherever you are, I'm sending all my love and I will see you all in the next video.